I'm going to show you how to take a um, swallowtail chrysalis and off of um, to relocate it and you like you might ask why would you want to do this well maybe you want to use the container that you were rearing them in to rear more um, uh, caterpillars so you want to relocate the chrysalis to um, a cage to emerge in. So what you want to do is um, moisten the chrysalis with uh, water and you'll find that swallowtails will move. Um, not all of them will move, but some of them will move. You want to wait at least uh, 48 hours before you try to um, relocate a chrysalis so that um, they're hard, um, they're hard um, and can take the strain of being pulled. Um, I found the best way to start is to start at the um, tip of the abdomen and once you spray it, um, once you spray um, the chrysalis with water, the silk loosens and all you have to do is pull it um, and right at the girdle the same thing um, you just want to you just you don't want to stick the um, the chrysalis but you want to you want to pull the silk Let's see if I can get this so you can see it I want you to be able to see it yeah, I've got the towel done. Once it's loose, you can just pull it with your hands. And once you get to the girdle part, that's the part that goes around the, the thorax, you want to carefully uh, loosen the silk, but don't stick the um, chrysalis because that will that will harm it. But what I'm doing is I'm, let me see if I can show you, oops, this is a, one of those net cages. <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry, it's almost done. You can also do this with your hands, but it's, it's better to uh, just pick it with the silk because you want to try to keep it intact if you want to repin it. So I'm getting it off. And on metal, um, they really make it tight. I, it, it's almost as if they go all the way around the, the metal part. And once you get it loose, you can carefully go in with your hands and you can pull it off. So you see this is all pulled off and then what you want to do is you've got the silk parts, you got the part at the end and you want to take and, and again be careful don't stick the chrysalis but do this when the silk is wet because it's easier to get into and then um, loop it where the um, the girdle is. So now you have uh, it taken off and you have it on a pen. So I'm going to put this out of the way so we can, excuse me, sorry. This is what you call amateur videos. Okay. And I have a net container here. And what I'm going to do is, let me see if I can put this up on a tripod so you can see it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get this so you can see it. But what I'm doing is I'm... Hmm, I'm sticking the stick pin in and I'm putting it, weaving it down. Let me see. Let me see if you can see that. There's another one. And another one. 
Okay. That's it. And these will these can spin the winner like that, and they don't need to be. You you don't have to place them. You can let them hang down. You can let them hang sideways, or you can even cut the girdle and pull the silk on the 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 abdomen and just let them lay down in the neck cage. the The key is the neck cage because you can put a piece of paper towel down and put the um, the chrysalis on it and once they emerge they can climb up the wall and inflate their wings over and out